So, I, I know, I got to. 2 Samuel 6. 2 Samuel 6. There's one thing in 2 Samuel 6 that isn't in 1 Chronicles. And that is that about David hearing what's going on. So, in 2 Samuel 6, verse 11, they take the ark of God to Obed-Edom for three months. The Lord bless him in his entire household. Verse 12, now King David was told. This isn't in 1 Chronicles. You've got to put both stories together to get the whole story. The Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom and everything he has because of the ark of God. So that's when David goes, whoa, I want that ark. He gets jealous. He gets, he hears Oh man, everything Obed-Edom is blessed. His family, all that he has. Every, David says, oh, okay, I want, I want the ark for myself. I feel bad for Obed-Edom at first, but you understand David puts him in close contact in charge of the ark for the rest of his life. So we call this a testimonial, the power of a testimonial. Almost all commercials are testimonials. You know, I had this horrible stain in my suit coat. But when I used this cleaning product, my shirt was as white as could be. By the way, it was green before. But, um, this car, you drive this car, you're going to feel like heaven. You're in heaven. I, on Amazon or most wherever I buy... I always look at the, you know, the reviews. Those are testimonials. And I'll read through all of them. I want to hear the good and the bad. And I make, how many of you do that? How many of you just buy stuff? Or how many of you read the reviews? Yeah. That's, that's the testimonials. I want, when I'm buying something, I want to have like four out of five stars or four and a half stars out of five. I want everyone going, this was great. This product didn't break down. This is, that's a testimonial. Well, God wants to use each of us. That's our main way of witnessing as living testimonials. When David heard how God was blessing Obed-Edom, he was like, that's what I want. I want that. I want God. When, when you should be sharing, people should see the presence of the Lord in your life and and and. And you make them envious, jealous, that they want what you have. So Christians, have Jesus Christ reigning on your heart. Blessings will fall upon your life. The Lord will move. People will see. And they'll will ask, what, what's going on? How come... Your life is different. What's, you know, and lift up Jesus on your shoulder. It's the presence of the Lord. And people will want the Lord as well.